Welcome back to Power Lunch. Everyone's talking about AI, and it's being reflected in the stock price for companies like C3 AI, with its shares doubling this year. But yesterday we had venture capitalist Adrian Mendoza on, who said the winners of the AI arms race are the ones with the data. Take a listen. Part of the, the issue with AI is that it's, it's all really about data, and it's garbage in produces garbage out. In our view as an investor, we really believe data is the new currency. But it's really, you have to take a step back and invest around. When you hear the startup pitches about AI, it's really looking at if you have good data to start with, then you're going to be able to have incredible results. And for more on the future of AI, we're now joined by Tom Siebel, C3 AI's CEO. Tom, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Hi, Kelly. Is ChatGPT the best or worst thing that's ever happened for your business? Uh, chat GPT is just, if we look at what's going on with generative AI, this is just another development in AI that we're able to take advantage of, like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, deep learning, reinforcement learning. And now with generative AI, uh, this is a very powerful tool that we can take advantage of to um, uh, dramatically increase the utility of these enterprise applications across all industries, utilities, defense, intelligence, oil and gas, precision health, sure. whatever it may be. I mentioned your stock performance. You know, if you think it's been a good year, you should remind people your stock was over $100 a couple of years ago, back when liquidity was really uh, at its apex. The question now becomes to the point that uh, some have made, will the Googles and Microsofts leapfrog you, Amazons, and in the future be able to offer to enterprise cloud customers or whatever the very tools that uh, you guys specialize in? Uh, the Googles and the Microsofts look like partners to us. I mean, they will be investing, you know, literally billions in this, uh, <clears throat> what the, in, in generative AI. And as they make these, these tools available, we'll immediately be able to take advantage of them uh, in our architecture. So as they leapfrog one another and add additional functionality, our products just become increasingly functional. Google is a close partner. Microsoft is a close partner. So the research they're doing serves as an accelerator for our business.